good friend Lawrence Brown, author of this book, The Anti-Globalization, whoops, come back, <laughs> Anti-Globalization <laughs> Breakfast Club. Yeah, I know he's a handsome devil, but he'll be here for a while. Manifesto for a Peaceful Revolution. And far from being a granola-munching, Birkenstock-wearing beatnik who hates capitalism, he's actually a capitalist and entrepreneur himself. He's one of these moderates, if you will. Lawrence, my good friend, how are you? Good. It's good to be moderate. Were you, were, you, were you one of the protesters in Pittsburgh at the G20? No. No, I was not protesting. I was writing about it. Okay. And the G20 is going to, you know, reform the way we think about the world. But I commend the protesters because it, it wasn't for the protesters at the WTO ministerial in 2005 in Concord that broke that ministerial down. We wouldn't have the G20 today. Mm -hmm. Up until then, we weren't talking about G20. We were only talking about G8. Mm. But it was because the developing countries came together in unity over issues of grain subsidies against the G8, and because of the protesters in the street, we're now heralding in a larger era of consensus with the G20. It's not enough. We need a G40. We need mm -hmm. more participants. We need to start to democratize. Mm -hmm. these institutions. Yep, and this is one of the hand-me-downs hand from the G20 is the G8 is no more. They That's right. They basically just nailed the coffin on the G8 and turned it into the G20. So in other words, those protesters actually need a formal role at these confabs, don't they? This is what we're looking to do is actually to take the rational voices from the street and bring them into institutions and to be able to start to institutionalize these voices, turn them into concrete policy, and really bring together a merger between government corporate interests and the populist interests which are calling for change. That's right, and that's what we're seeing right now, more of the emerging uh, uh, markets, uh, emerging economies with a voice in the G20. That's just the opening of the show. Lawrence is going to be here for the whole hour, so we get a lot of time to talk this through. We're going to make reference and discuss